hey, I've got an idea. Let's get out in the great outdoors. Let's look for woodpeckers. Remember, we've learned that birds are grouped into families. There are over 60 families of birds here in Michigan alone. Let's focus in on the group called the woodpeckers. Their real science name is Picaday. Picaday is the family name for woodpeckers. Let's see if we can see any right here. Woodpeckers need trees. You don't see woodpeckers out in the middle of a big field or prairie. You don't see them in marshy wetlands. You find them in forests with dead trees. Here's a dead tree. Now that's a spot that may have started from a woodpecker pecking on the wood looking for food. Woodpeckers will peck through to try to find tasty grubs inside the wood. Look at that. That's good habitat for a woodpecker. Dead trees. Standing dead trees are called snags. And snags are important in a forest. Many animals, including woodpeckers, will use snags for either finding food or for their homes. I'm looking for woodpeckers. As I look through my binoculars of science, oh, I think I've spotted some. Take a look on this tree. Here's a woodpecker called a downy woodpecker. Look at the small beak on the downy woodpecker. The downy woodpeckers are most common woodpecker in this part of Michigan. And here's the downy woodpecker's cousin, the hairy woodpecker. They look almost identical, except the hairy woodpecker is larger in real life. And look at the size of its beak. Its beak is about the length of its head. So the hairy woodpecker has a much larger beak. These are two fairly common woodpeckers here in Michigan. Cool. Sometimes woodpeckers will even Peck and look for insects on dead logs and dead stumps. Look at this. Here's a dead tree, and it looks like woodpeckers have been working on it. Pecking into the wood, probably looking for food. Oh, and there they are, look. Two of our more common woodpeckers around here. One of them is the red-bellied woodpecker. The male has a red head that extends all the way to the beak, and the female, the red head only goes halfway. This is called a red-bellied woodpecker, not a red-headed woodpecker. And look at this. And here's another woodpecker that migrates most of the time, but they're coming back now called a flicker, a northern flicker. It's another type of woodpecker that makes its home here in Michigan. Friends, these woodpeckers depend on these dead standing trees. We call them snags. This is where they can find most of their food. And this is also where they can excavate or dig a hole into the wood so they can have a nest. Wow, more woodpeckers. Let's see if we can find one more. Whoa, check this out. Here's another snag with a woodpecker hole in it. Look at that. A woodpecker made that hole. I wonder if it nested there last year. Wow, it's good to see snags in a forest because that's good for woodpeckers. When you see spots on dead trees like this, where a bird has really dug into the tree looking for insects, it's probably the work of a big woodpecker called the pileated woodpecker or pileated. Look at this. This is a huge woodpecker. Look at that huge strong beak. It's like a chisel. Chiseling in the wood, looking for insects to eat. Their favorite food are carpenter ants or carpenter ant larvae. Look at that, they're the size of a crow. This is Michigan's largest woodpecker, and we have them right at Blanford Nature Center. Friends, these are a few of the woodpeckers that live in Michigan and belong to the family Picaday. Let's continue to study woodpeckers. Watch the short video following this, and let's see if we can answer some questions about woodpeckers and their habitats. Maybe you could build a habitat just right for a woodpecker. Look at that. Very cool birds. And they all belong to the family Picaday, the woodpeckers.